In 1897, Sir Ronald Ross discovered something shocking inside a mosquito's stomach, the malaria parasite. That day, the world learned a tiny mosquito carries a deadly life cycle inside it. Let's decode the life cycle of Plasmodium in just 90 seconds. Save this reel as it is a very important neat concept too. When a female Anopheles mosquito bites a human, it injects sporozoids, the infective form of Plasmodium, into the bloodstream. These sporozoids travel to the liver and enter the liver cells where they multiply and form merozoids. Merozoids re-enter the blood and infect red blood cells. Inside RBCs, they multiply again and burst the cell. This bursting causes the symptoms of malaria, chills, fever and sweating due to a toxic substance released from the RBC called hemozoin. This cycle repeats every 48 to 72 hours. Some merozoids inside the RBC develops into male and female gametocytes. These do not cause symptoms but are very crucial for its transmission. When another mosquito bites the infected person, it picks up the gametocytes inside the mosquito's gut. Fertilization happens, forming a zygote. It becomes an oocynic, then oocyst, and then finally forms sporozoids again which travels into the mosquito's salivary gland. This cycle is now ready to begin again in the next human. So, let's do a quick recap. Mosquito, sporozoid, liver, merozoid, RBC, gametocyte, another mosquito, sporozoid. Sir Ronald Ross once said, the mosquito is no less dangerous than a bullet. Understand the cycle and beat the disease. Thank you.